aircraft, he said, was defying the laws of physics. T tell us, tell us what you saw. And we were sent out to the west. Now, take in mind that this has taken place about 100 miles southwest of San Diego, between San Diego and Ensenada, Mexico. Yeah. Uh, on a clear, perfect day, blue waters. We get out to the spot where they tell us it's at. Um, we start looking around, and both of us, both airplanes, see a disturbance in the water and a white, 40-foot-long, tic-tac-shaped object just hovering above the water, going forward, back, left, right. There's no rotor wash. There's no wings, nothing. So as we drive around in a clockwise flow, we get to about the 9 o'clock position, and I said, well, I'm going to go down and check it out, and the other jet is going to stay high. So as we go down, at, when we get to the 12 o'clock position, it starts to mirror us. So it's in a clockwise flow, and it's on the opposite side of the circle from us. And we continue this. It's in a climb. We're in a descent. We're getting a great look at it. This whole thing takes about probably up to five minutes from the time we show up. I get over to the 8 o'clock position. It's at about the 2 o'clock position. And I decide I'm going to go and see what it is, and it's about 2,000 feet below me. And I cut across the circle, and as I get within about a half mile of it, it rapidly accelerates to the south in about two seconds and disappears. What, what would you estimate the speed? Oh, well above supersonic. It, it like a bullet out of a gun, it took off. So from what you know,